What's up guys, this is Cody here. And if you guys haven't heard, iOS 9 has been jailbroken. So if you're not jailbroken on iOS 9 just yet, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to just click on that'll link you directly to a tutorial on how to do that. But of course with iOS 9, the best thing to get are tweaks and the best types of tweaks to get are free. So today I'm gonna to be showing you the top 20 free tweaks that are working and compatible with iOS 9. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first tweak I wanna talk about is called Anemone, which is basically a winterboard alternative. So you can see that I'm using it right now, and this is actually uh, the Amory theme, as you can see. And of course, if you guys want my wallpaper, I'll be sure to put that on my Twitter, so be sure to follow me on Twitter. But you can see right over here that Anemone is right here, and if we go ahead and open that up, it's basically a much cleaner and, you know, better looking winterboard theming app. And you can see right here that basically you just enable or disable those themes right here. So for instance, if we wanted to enable soft, we would tap on enable. And then here are the options for soft. So do we want the alternate icons? If we do, we're gonna leave it green. If we don't, then we just tap on that and that's going to deselect it. Of course, we can just disable the entire thing once again and we're gonna stay here on Am Amory. And you can also just tap apply and it's gonna give you basically just a quick look at what this is going to look like. And then if you tap apply again, it'll do a quick respring and then your device is themed. Now, of course, you don't have to use Anemone. You can actually still use Winterboard, which is working just fine on iOS 9 right now. So the next week I wanna talk about here is called Apple File Conduit 2. So this isn't one that I can necessarily show you right here on the device, but basically what it does is allow you to plug in your device into your uh, computer and allow you to access those file systems directly on your computer. Because normally when you plug in your device, you don't have permissions to access everything, but with Apple File Conduit 2, it's going to allow you to do just that. Next, we have a tweak called Blord. Now what Blord does is basically just give you a black keyboard. So you can see right here that if I access Spotlight, we have a black keyboard right here. Again, if we go into our messages here, you'll notice that if we tap on our messages that we have a black keyboard here too. So if you just want a different looking keyboard, then you can download Blord free of charge. Next up is Diet Bar. Now what this tweak does is basically make the top portion of your applications much smaller. So for instance, you can see if I open up the settings that right up here at the top, the actual top pane here that says settings is much smaller. And that's really all that this tweak does. You do have a uh, preference panel right down here. If we go ahead and open that up, it's going to show you that this is going to work for all these applications. You can obviously toggle these on or off just depending on which applications you want this to take effect in. Next, we have 4C. This is a really cool tweak that basically brings 3D touch quick actions to older devices. So you can see right here that all you have to do to activate this is swipe up on an application just like that. And it's going to give you that 3D touch menu that you normally get on your 6S and 6S Plus. So really cool. And you can see that it's going to work with several different applications. You can see just swiping up on a few of these. I actually tapped that one on accident. Swipe up on that one, your messages. So this is pretty awesome and it's a free tweak, so definitely check it out. And next we have another staple in all my jailbroken devices and that is iCleaner. So this is working on iOS 9 now and you can see if we go ahead and open this up, it's basically going to uh, allow you to clean out all the unused or unnecessary files that you have on your device. Now you will get a little pop up there that you just saw that says it's not typically compatible with iOS 9.0.2. So be sure to use that at your own risk, but I've used it a couple of times and had no issues whatsoever. And of course we also have iFile, which you can see right here. And if you don't know what iFile is, which you probably do, it's going to allow you to basically go through your entire file system, allow you to manually install tweaks if you need to, maybe a tweak's not on uh, Cydia, you can actually grab just the dev file and this will allow you to install it manually. There's a ton of different stuff that you can do. You can manually uh, upgrade or change your theme. I mean, the possibilities are basically endless with iFile and if you're jailbroken, you definitely need it on your device. Now we also have Instagram Plus Plus, and there's a lot of different things that Instagram Plus Plus allows you to do, but you can see right here, once we open this up, we're going to uh, go ahead and tap off that. Uh, you can see that we have a minimal uh, look, and we also have a full look. So if you tap right up there, this is going to be just normally what you see. We also have the minimal look. You can see right here, if we tap on my uh, user, that we can also save picture. So if we go ahead and open this up, and we tap on the dot, 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 you can see that we have plus, plus options. So if we tap on that, you can see, you can select the image size. So let's just say we wanna do 1080 by 1080, and you'll see that you can save this to your camera roll, to an album, uh, media vault, shared image. Uh, we're just gonna save it to the camera roll here. Of course, you'll have to allow permission there, and then you'll swipe over here, open up your photos, and we should see that 
uh, photo right there in my camera roll, as you can see. And next up we have Priority Hub. And you can see what this does. It basically groups all your notifications by application. So for instance, we have our Messages app. So you can just tap on the Messages and it's going to show you all notifications that you have from Messages, which I only have one. Now if you had a uh, different application, like Tweetbot, you could just tap on that and it's gonna show you all the notifications for Tweetbot as well. So it's just a really cool tweak and it's been around for a while, but this came out out of the gate uh, compatible with iOS 9. Of course, on the lock screen here, we still have our lock glyph, which is working just fine as well. You can change the color of this. It obviously has an animation, and you can see right here, I've changed it to a white color, and then when I scan my finger, it changes to a blue color. So it has that nice little audio tune. And if you want to get fancy, there are themes for lock glyph as well. Now you probably already noticed, but I also have a round dock right down here, and that is due to a tweak called round dock. Not much to it. Just install it. No options to configure. Once you install it, you're good to go. Now another thing you probably notice is how fast applications are opening and closing when I tap on them. And you can see that is due to speed intensifier. So we have a little preference panel here and you can obviously change this up a bit. Uh, what I do recommend doing is turning this on. I don't think this works 100% just yet, but if you turn on spring animations, it does give you that nice quick opening and closing effect right there. Now another tool that I always have on my device is called OpenSSH, which basically allows you to SSH into and out of your phone. So it's just really helpful if you do use SSH a lot. Otherwise, if you don't, you probably don't need to install it. Now this badge right here actually looks pretty normal, but it's actually a Roman numeral. And you can see if we swipe over here that we have the Roman numeral 13 right there, as well as four for Tweetbot. So this is basically a new tweet called Numerals. Now you will have to add a repo for this, but you can still check it out for yourself because it's free. And I'll be sure to put that in the description below. Now in that same repo that you get Numerals, you can also get Rounder, which is basically going to round out your control center. And it's gonna look, well, a whole lot like this. So if you like the look of this, then definitely check out Rounder as well. Now, if we start to take a look at my status bar up here, you can see that I have Zeppelin installed, which is basically going to allow you to customize your carrier. So I've just changed this to this Abstergo uh, look right here. And you can see if we tap on Zeppelin, you just make sure that it is enabled, then you have all of these themes installed by default. But of course, there's a ton of different themes that you can download directly from Cydia. You can even make your own, it's not real hard to do, but you can see that we can check these out right off the bat. Now also right here, we have Hide Me 8 Lite. So this is the free version of Hide Me 8, and it's going to allow you to hide a ton of different UI elements all throughout iOS 9. So you'll see right here, if we just tap on configuration, here are all the sections that you have, and then here are all the stock applications that you have, as well as third-party apps right down here. So for instance, if we wanted to hide something on our lock screen, you can see that we can tap on this, we can tap on hide the camera grabber, you can also hide the grabbers for the notification center and control center on the lock screen, and even the date. So if we go ahead and do that, you will have to respring in order for this to take effect. But once it respring's, you'll notice that those things are hidden. All right, so now we're resprung. You can see that we just have our clock. We don't have uh, any type of date right up here. And we also don't have any grabbers for our notification center or our control center right there. Now the next tweak we have here is called date in status bar, which obviously puts the date right there in the status bar. And this is something that I like just because when I'm in applications, you always have the date right up there in the status bar. You don't have to go back to your springboard to check the date on the calendar app. Now the next tweak we have here is Phantom for Snapchat. So what this does, if you use Snapchat, you definitely need this tweak because it basically breaks every single rule that Snapchat has. So you can't save photos, well you can with Phantom. You can't save videos, well you can with Phantom. You wanna input videos, you can do so from right here. You just tap on images or videos right there and you can input that. On timed images, you can see them for as long as you want. You just tap to go to the next one. But really the main feature here is just allowing you to save those videos and photos. Now next here on our lock screen, we have Barricade, which you can see right here is going to give us some applications right here on our lock screen. And then if we want to open up any of those applications, all we have to do is take it, bring it down. You'll see all the other applications are going to disappear. You'll get that nice waveform right there. And we're just gonna bring it down directly to that Touch ID button. And it's going to unlock that specific application, just like that. So of course those applications are customizable and you can change up the appearance a bit. So you can tinker with it to get it the way you want it. And last but not least, we have Alkaline, which is obviously in full effect right here. You'll see the battery indicator has been themed. So if we tap on settings 
and we scroll down here to alkaline, we have a few different options that we can use right here. So you just make sure that it is enabled. Right now I'm using the theme bolus, but you also have Habesha and you also have spots. So once you set this up, you'll just go back here and then you'll have to respring your device in order for the changes to take effect. And you can see right here that it's already taken effect that we have that new Habesha battery indicator right there. All right guys, so that's all I have for the top 20 free iOS 9 tweaks. Let me know what you guys think about these tweaks in the comments below. Of course, there's gonna be some brand new iOS 9 specific tweaks that of course we both wanna take advantage of. So if you guys wanna see a video on that, then let me know by hitting the like button on this video. All right guys, more tweaks and tutorials on the way. And of course, if you guys wanna check them out, be sure you're subscribed. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.